here with Kelly Swanson, who's about to give a wonderful presentation to us here at NSA Illinois. Hey. <laughs> so what are you going to be talking about today, Kelly? Today we're talking about the power of story. And we're talking about the structure of a speech and how to take your keynote to the next level. Sharing her story of being at somebody's bedside. And it was a very touching moment about being there in the final hours. And she's, in her story, she said, and my husband sang to her, and it was beautiful. I'm like, that's great, but I can't see that. I can't feel that. You've got to show me. Don't tell me. I said, what did he sing? She said, Amazing Grace. I said, would you tell the story again? And in that moment, just copy what your husband did. And so she got to, it's not going to sound good here because I don't even remember the story, but she got to that point and he held her hand and he just began to sing. Amazing grace. Even if you don't go any further than that, see how much more it just, right? Don't matter if you sing good. No. I'd almost rather you not sing good if you know what I mean. Ruth had no time for me. She had eyes only for Teddy who came on Thursdays. Teddy. Can you see Teddy at all? Mm -hmm. huh. Then you probably don't know. He had torn jeans and a, a faded Grateful Dead t-shirt. A welcome back Cotter mustache. See? Bingo. Three little things. Now you can see them, can't you? It doesn't matter what you choose. It doesn't matter how many, and I'd prefer you not choose a lot. One or two. Story does the convincing, story does the, the persuading, and there's actually scientific proof now that your data and your facts alone do not connect and engage with an audience. And what do we all remember after the presentation is over? You remember the story. You remember the story. The story is what, well, let's put it this way, if you can't, we're all salespeople. All of us, we're selling uh, uh, truth, we're selling awareness, we're selling whatever it is, our books and services and coaching. And the, everybody, you know, we all know the cardinal rule of sales is that people buy from people they like, trust, believe, and feel like they know. That is nothing new. Like, trust, believe, know. Those are emotional words. Those have nothing to do with how much you know or how good you look in your suit or what bestseller you wrote. It has to do with how you connect emotionally with your listener. Your facts cannot do that. Information alone is, is incapable of making that connection and engagement. You get into their heart as the salesperson, you got they will follow you wherever you go.